Everybody's calling for you. I can hear it calling me. Sharon and I do not have the same <laughs> taste in music, as you can see. Let me take my view all the time. I, biceps, triceps. Today I worked on biceps. I'm just not cardio. in the 90s. He's like stuck in the 90s. Like he died in the 90s. Where you at? I'm in an, the I'm new a, century. I was born in 85. So. New music. You listen to new music? What's some new music then? Sing a song. No, I'm not a singer. So sing any new song. What new song? I don't like to sing those things. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> so today's uh, episode is about, you know, my body is calling. Right. I'm, we're going to come at it from two perspectives because, you know, sh sh I love to have guiltless sex. And I got married so that I could have guiltless sex. This mm -hmm. is why I got married. And uh, Sharon, I think she got married for love. I, uh, who does that? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Companionship. <laughs> <laughs> right. But we want you guys to know first, the purpose of these videos is always to help people you know, get, get married, married and stay, stay married. Stay married. We want you to get married and stay married. Right. Uh, nobody's forcing you to do anything, but I promise you, the blessing that you're supposed to have is going to come as a result of you walking down the aisle. Look at my boo. She loves me all the time. Because <laughs> everybody know the famous Proverbs, I think it's 1822. He that findeth the wife. Finds favor. Finds a good thing. And it also says, and he obtained the favor from the Lord. Right. So a lot of times if you walk around and you don't have no favor, God's favor, you can do more with God's favor than anything. Anything. You can do more in God's favor. You can use your finance. Give me God's favor every time. I'll be walking in the door before you. I'll have a better seat than you. Right. You'll be wondering, how? So wait, God's favor, period. Mm -hmm. So we, we kind of you come from that uh, perspective. And we want people to know. You know, I have received favor, which is why I'm not even worried because because Sharon and I honor the agreement that we made and we understood the agreement that we made when we walked down the aisle. Right. You know, you you get the blessing from that. Mm -hmm. But tonight I'm coming to talk about my desire for other women. That's what I mean by my body is calling me. Sharon might mean something else, but that's what I mean. So when I get married, I'm going to dive right into this. So I, I'll let you tell them the reason we started this. Oh, so the reason we started this is because we had a couple and um, they were our favorite couple and to make a long story short, they got a divorce and we were devastated about that divorce and we decided to make these videos so that we could show the people that right. good side of marriage right. and to help people remain married. Got my beanie on tonight. Evil is no match for for good. I mean, no match whatsoever. It's not even, they shouldn't even be mentioned in the same sentence. Right. However, good has to be active right. for that to be true. Right. Uh, so if you're not, if you're good and you're some, like for instance, if you're at, if you're somewhere at your job and be like, oh, they need to, they need to do, they need to do this. Like, why can't they see it? Because that's your good thought and it's not being active. Right. <laughs> that's why it's not happening. Right. So you got to take your good and be active with it. Right. And so a lot of, like a lot of, that's why we accept suggestions as long as they're not vitriolic because if like oh all you guys need is this well type it out let us know cuz three minds six minds is better than two right let us know right yeah and then that way you're going to be active uh whoever this couple is that broke up do they know of these videos they probably don't <laughs> they probably well i know one uh it's probably not even on the book. They old. They older. They older. Right. So they probably don't know. But Tony throwing me off because I'm thinking about the Vikings. <laughs> we don't really today. want. Them. How did he miss that tackle? <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go off subject. But how, Sway? How you get paid millions of dollars to right. tackle people? And this wasn't even like a hard tackle. Like who does this? Anywho. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. So when I got married, I legitimately thought, <laughs> for real, Tony, I legitimately thought that I was not going to be attracted to other women. I, this is what I, I mean, to the, because it had been indoctrinated in me that your wife is your queen and your wife is the last person that you'll have sex with and your wife is the princess. And, you know, this had, and I believed that. Mm -hmm. I believed every single last word of it. Mm -hmm. And then when I got married, I was like, wait, she's still sexy to me like what what am I, what am I supposed to do and that's what I I, I, my, I thought my body was calling 
for you. I can hear you calling me. Because there are some precautions that every married person, especially men, have to take in order to tell your body to be quiet so that you can honor the agreement that you made when you walk down the aisle. Mm. So I have to every day make the decision to be a husband. Every single day, I make the decision to be a husband. You know, girls give you that. They give you that eye. You gotta make the decision. Whose eyes be doing that? You know, that's just how y'all be. I, okay. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? You gotta make the decision to be a husband when you get the eye. You know the eye. You you gave me the eye when you first walked. I didn't give you no eye. So you didn't give me no eye. How no. we together then, babe? <laughs> we just you got forgot. <laughs> You was all on me. You was calling me every morning. Baby, you just forgot. I didn't forget. You forgot? Yeah. You was so, giving me the eye. <laughs> when you hear that, you know, that your husband is attracted to other women, how do you feel about that? It doesn't bother me. You're lying. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> you know? bother me. As long as it's, like, not taking over your life, like, right. when you become obsessed, then that's a problem. Oh, yeah. When yeah. Obsessed meaning what? Like. Stalking them, look up their Facebook page. Who does this? Even uh, when I was single, do that. I do that. <laughs> people do that. Um, you know, that. talking about them all the time. That's your she pretty. You know how oh, people do. in front do. of you don't do that. Yeah, that's just disrespectful. But I can do it behind your back. No, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I understand you're a human. You're gonna look at people, but long as it doesn't go past that mark, like if you right. see a girl, oh, you looked for a second. You know, what I mean? but if you're looking for a whole hour, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think I got a problem, babe. Babe, no, no, because I'm actually in great shape now, so I, I work out. Uh, right, it's just like if I seen a dude with a six-pack looking nice, nice little hottie, um, you, you wouldn't want me looking. You'd be like, you that's nice enough. Hey, y'all! Hey, y'all! See, you hey, can't hey, even y'all. take the words. Right. <laughs> see, I don't see, as a man, I don't know how I would feel like we... You we, know, you'd be angry. Right. I mean, or or watch this. I could be at the movies and it's a guy come on with a six pack on and you know he like, he just automatically think that I'm over there smacking her lips and all that. He was like, close your eyes, close your eyes. Yo, hey. <laughs> eh. <New. laughs> so yeah, so I, I think as far as me, like if you feel, uh, see, I be feeling like a, I I be feeling attracted to like other women. Somebody asked me the other day, how is it, how is it possible that you've remained loyal to your wife? Like, and was legit wanting to know, like, all ears. Like, I said, uh, you, you have to make sure that you take the precautions. Mm -hmm. That's all. Because women and men uh, can't be friends. I say it almost every episode. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. To, for a man and woman to be friends. Mm -hmm. So David has that base understanding. See, if you still arguing about that, there's your problem right there. You feel me? It's impossible. So because I know that, I don't think that, I know that. Mm -hmm. I'm always, I'm never going to talk to a babe. Mm -hmm. I don't care how appealing she is. You know, my wife is not around. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to do it. You feel me? And then I also like, just in case, because I, I jump rope really well. So a lot of the uh, older women always walk up to me, like 50s and are, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, I can barely see your feet move, right? I feel like in that instance, eh, right. I, mean, I don't like her anyway. I, you know, I'm not like extreme. But if you are attracted to me, David Lucas is not having a full blown conver conversation with you. I always act like if my wife walked in here, what would I, you know what I mean? How would I be? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I always so want her to know that. So, we do the purpose of these videos is so that married people can stay married get and married, we can married. inspire single people to get married. Right. So, um, so from the woman's perspective, um, I don't know. Like, I think, like, we're grateful to be married. Not saying that we're not attracted to guys that come buy or different things but we don't think like men men i noticed when you scratch your hair you lying is it no i'm not lying my no? head because you be like you know <laughs> i'll be like yeah. no but i mean i think that's 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 a man thing like i mean we look at guys but you guys be obsessing so you're not attracted to other and that's not what i said i said you look at guys but you don't obsess over them it's a difference like y'all be like 
Y'all obsessed over women. Yes. Dogs. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Uh, All men are dogs, by the way. I don't care if I'm in... He's so nice. He will bite you if you let him. I personally don't really don't pay attention. I mean, you have to be like drop dead gorgeous for me to really pay attention to you. Because I'm happy with my husband, so I'm not looking. You know what I mean? I'm not. Like, I be, I'm focused on what I want. When I go to that grocery store, I'm getting some groceries. I'm not really looking for dudes. They're looking at... I feel like men are looking... You know what I mean? Like, for girls in the big booties and whatever y'all like. Like, y'all looking for that. Well, I was going to say, before she being a saint in here, that... I, I don't. No, maybe some, um, you know, come on, women. If you have a problem and you look at men and you marry, put it down there. But for as me, I don't really be looking at men like that. I don't. Well, how did you end up marrying... Because I was single and I was looking for a companionship. <laughs> <laughs> a relationship. When you were single, so now you, I'm not look looking for. Guys? I'm not looking for a relationship. When you were single, how did you look? When you were somewhere, how did you look? I look. Can they take care of me? <laughs> Ron, is go- I ain't saying she go there. <laughs> well, that's what I was looking for. Like I mean, no. the six pack is all nice and everything, but usually people person with the six pack, they they're not really good mates. <laughs> Why? Why? Because they, they tend to be. You're into bringing up themselves. a good point, baby. They tend to be a little bit more into themselves, okay. and they're not really ready to, to settle down. They're looking for the big booties. And they out there and how many low, girls can I get? <laughs> right. Right. How many drinks does it take you to leave me? <laughs> you know that song either. Sure, I don't know how to sing taste in music. I don't listen to music. Awkward. You know. But yeah, so when you were single, you you didn't look at a guy's looks? Yeah, but I don't know. I did. Was that like but, secondary? Or? Yeah. As I got older, it became secondary. When I was younger, yeah. You got married you at 22, babe. I mean, I've been old all my life, like I say. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> See, me, I thought, like I said, that I, I was not going to be attracted. So even when we was in counseling, like, I didn't even bring the subject up because I felt like, it's not going to happen to me. I don't me. know why you felt like that. That's Every day I see a babe, I'll be feeling like, Father, thou art the Christ, and please, Lord. I don't feel like that. I'm like, oh, he's nice looking, you know what I mean? But I think for women, you have to have interactions with that person to like actually start like feeling like feelings or attracted. Like, I think you're just set up. Oh, differently. so you guys are more. And then right, because this is a double standard for y'all. Because if y'all yeah. have like, even in society, if you were both of us were single, and we were having sex, you would be the whore, and I would be the player. Yeah. Because it's like a double standard. Like, so right. I, do you think that society has played a part in, in your decision to to look for, like, more <laughs> attributes? <laughs> Whether it be, like, more, like, almost like a, what I want to say, baby? I want to say, because you got me a loss of words. I just knew you was going to be like, I saw a dude down the street <laughs> and he can get See? It. See? Yeah, switch it up now. I didn't know because um, I, I see my truth is different than your truth, then. Right. I be seeing I be do like, think society keep me near the cross, Lord Jesus, keep me near the cross. I do think society plays a big role in it because we're taught to to right. get married, and it's frowned upon if you have too many partners, and you know that's our society. It's, right. You know, um, but if we live somewhere else, it might be different. Young lady mm-hmm. asks, "How come men are so greedy?" Right. And I said, well, for the most part, uh, we greedy because, yeah, I might have... It. Well, let me tell you I, the, the, this before I even start going to that. We, I, I, I shared a video and the pastor, he was saying, like, it's hard to, you know, get a snack if you already have had a meal. So mm-hmm. in your marriage, the work that's involved in your marriage is to make sure your husband is physiologically empty. His gonads are empty of the semen that comes and he's physiologically full as far as his belly unless he's fasting like David fasts fasts all the time mm-hmm. but those are the two things that I know it seems so like you know soon I will be done with the troubles of the world going home to live with God but I'm telling you ladies you got to fix a plate of food that he would like. And you also got to make sure he empty. Because it's hard to have a snack, figuratively and literally, if you already had a meal. Mm-hmm. Period. Like, 
period. Now that guy's being greedy. So when I was discussing, when we were discussing together, mm-hmm. you know, that I was, I, I, I laid that foundation first. Then I said, okay, so now if you were doing all that you can do and the guy is still being greedy, then you got to leave him alone. Because right. he is not the best thing for you. He don't care nothing about you. Not just being a So a answer great. this question. If you had a six pack, you was doing pretty good financially, would you have gotten married? Now that I have four of the six, and I know what it's like to make six figures, and to being in shape, the only way I would have got married if I if I would have met you again. That's the only way. You feel me? You have no. Listen, you have this special thing about you, like you're a wife. I know some girls who have gotten divorced from like their first mate, and then they've remarried. See, these women are wives, so it's easy to snatch them up because this is a wife. Aww. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Like you are a wife, but for where I be at, it be it be I um, mean it be pretty much like. I'm not, that's a very good question, because, <laughs> I mean, because the emotions of me being single are gone. I'm so satisfied. I'm satiated with you. That means I know I'm going to go home and talk right. to you. Right. I think, like, single guys, and I'm not a guy, so I'm just coming from a woman's really? perspective. <laughs> but I think that, you know, when you're single, you, you that's all you know. You know what I mean? Like, that's the lifestyle you know, and it's right. almost like a, a fear of, like, giving that up for something you don't know. Right. Just like how people have a hard time with death. That's why I'm bringing this is a weird thing, but right. um, people have a hard time because they don't know what lies behind that. But I hate it being single. So I know you probably don't even hear that. I hate it being single too. I hate some people single. like it. Some people like to be single. I hate it being single for two reasons. Number one, uh, I was uber lonely. You feel me? Yeah. Uber lonely. And then number two, even when I decided like, okay, I'm going to start just Laying alone and spreading it wide. I always made the girl. I didn't make you leave, but I just suggested it because I didn't want to like stay the night with a babe. I, right. You know, what I, mean? I had my own crib and everything, but I, I always kind of suggested. But that's you know, the time you get lonely, like at night. <laughs> right. And I was just so lonely. Right. And then number two, uh, as I, I, I always, I'm a different type of person. So when, when I was having sex in the choir, like you know, I didn't have sex with nobody that was in the choir, but. I was in the choir having sex with other women, you feel me? And I always felt guilty. Like, I'm, I'm a different type of person. Right. So I, f- I felt guilty. Now, there was a time period in my life where I always say this, where, you know, I was p- trying to be the best Christian I could possibly be. And then that meant, uh, you know, I was not having sex with nobody. I wasn't even masturbating. I was trying to be the best Christian I could possibly be. Right. But there's only so much sperm a person can hold inside of their body. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So after, you know, a year and a half, two years of doing that, I started trying to, you know, trying to basically populate this field. You know, I'm sorry. But that's where I was at. Right. And so, you know, I always felt guilty. I remember this this one encounter that I had, and you know everything about me. But I was I was like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, laying alone and spreading it wide. And then after it was done, I felt like a prostitute. Like, I've never felt, I've, I felt like, like, I got to stop. So to answer your question. <laughs> right. <laughs> when are you going to answer the question? If those, because I'm pretty sure the God that I serve is still going to uh, let me feel that type of guilt and shame again. Then I'm going to feel like, where is my Sharon at? You know uh, what I mean? Like, that's legit my answer. Right. You feel me? However, there's a part of me that wants to just just bang out as many babes as possible. That's why I feel it's like... human part. I feel like, sex now, let's go. Right. You got to get this empty. It got to right. stay empty. I'm talking about... Let <laughs> me get done with this video. As a matter of fact, the purpose of these videos <laughs> is to help people, you know, like marriage enough to get married and stay married. Right. We, uh, we are dead serious about marriage. We are perfect in the area of faithfulness, which means we have never physically or emotionally cheated. I've never been in love with another woman. Sharon says she's never been in love with a man, another man. Correct. Uh, she says she's never cheated. I say I never cheated. Somebody asks us once, how do y'all know? Because we just believe each trust. other. Trust. You got to have trust. We just believe each other at the end of the day. I, I, don't, I don't follow Sharon around. I know she don't follow me Who around. that time did we do that? So I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not living my life like that. I just believe you. And then I'm looking right. in your eye and I feel like you're telling the truth. Right. And I said, that's, that's how I'm going to live my life. Like, I'm not going to live my life no other way. 
Right. So Sharon is in the Philly. Uh, Bedroom candy. Mm -hmm. And this we'll leave the link below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Website is coming soon. Uh, I, that's another thing that we're going to do. Uh, we're working on it. Working, yes, working, I've been working, working on it all day. So sorry if I'm a little... Woo, yeah. I'm just tired. I've been Sharon at a computer all saying, day. I no idea. <laughs> but we always say this. If we get big by nature, marriage gets big. Yes. Particularly in the African-American community. I've come particularly to talk to men and African American men, I know you because I am you, and I can tell you, you need to get you one good woman who understands you, who got your back, and let her keep you empty and full at the same time. Y'all explain <laughs> to them what that means. Okay? So until next time, we do love you. Bye bye.